There's two guys here. There's this guy. And there's that guy. I think there's one more on the right as well. Hello everyone, welcome back to Season 2, Episode 13 of our Escape from Tarkov Standard Edition playthrough. And in today's video, we're going to be pushing through the Punisher questline, so scavs are the main target. But before we get into today's video, just a reminder that if you're looking for the full, unedited VODs of all of the live streams, please check out that blue join button down below as $5 members and up get access to all of that exclusive content. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you do enjoy today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And now, a short word from our sponsor. All right, guys, you should know who it is already. The Ridge is right back with another channel sponsor video. For those of you that don't know, The Ridge is a quality company that focuses on making functional and stylish everyday carry gear. They've been a huge supporter of the channel for over a year now, and even to this day, I'm still using their wallets and knives. If you're in the market to upgrade some of your kit and finally bring your wallet game to the 21st century, then look no further. Head over to ridge.com karma and use code karma to get a discount off your order and free worldwide shipping. And the best part, if you don't like your purchase, you can return it for a money back guarantee. Find out more with the link down below. Uh, okay. I do want to punch out of this pocket ASAP. It's behind me. So we're mainly just looking for scabs to kill. We'll probably hop over and overwatch, uh... Yeah, don't crawl under the train tracks when you can just run across the tracks, guys. Um, if there's a lesson learned here, that 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 is the lesson. Like, I I, I don't know why he chose to crawl. Uh, oh, because he's level six. Okay, I mean it makes a little more sense, but there's no reason to crawl. That. <laughs> uh. I talk about it a lot, like, when I'm doing, like, my private sessions with people, but it's, like, if you ever have to choose, the guidelines is that stealth and quiet and getting low and slow is, like, used for when there's a lot of concealment, like, a lot of bushes, a lot of grass, a lot of trees, but if it's ever an open, low ground area like that, you just want to use speed and just get past it as fast as possible. Don't, don't do that. That's, that's silly. I usually don't like going through this thing, but... go too fast kick across here it'd be okay normally there'd be a couple scabs here i don't know where all the scabs are that could have been a player I need to push past the body first and clear around the corner. Could have been a scab too, that's a scab spawn. It looks like a player. I'm just gonna clear all these dead zones. Jesus. Not gonna have anything in his bag, in his pockets. I'm picking this up because I want, uh... I want his mags. Pretty sure this guy's gonna be rocking like 7 and one or something. Let me check all this in the- I don't wanna actually check in- Ah, fuck. What do you have on this? You're loading. 7 and one yeah, he is loading 7 and one okay. So we definitely want to check this right now. Get a new mag. Is 
Okay, kill two other. No, these are my dog tags. Okay, no, we're good. This is LPS. Okay, I want to get away from this body as soon as we can. I generally don't like going through L here. Oh, fuck. Let's pre-med here. I hate this courtyard. I really do. Okay. Dude, where are all the scabs? Is any scabs out here? I'm stand out. I'm overweight, so go ahead and check this real fast and then sort all this. LPS. Uh, we can kick this out. Alright, we're good. There's two, so I don't really want to fight that right now. I need to pull back. Maybe I can catch a different angle, but that's not a best. I was trying to get like a really easy peek or headshot, but he saw me as he came around the corner. Good, good eyes on that guy. Seemed like a pretty good nade too. I mean, honestly, we could extract right here. I'll try to see if we can get a cheeky shot on these guys, but if not, we'll just push for the extract. Yeah, I don't really want to push this 2v1, especially with a pretty game take, eh? I got a full bag anyways, and we're already weighted, so just reset. Let's see if we got anyone with that nade, because that nade looked good. I feel like that nade was good. Oh, fuck, it was good. Oh, shit. It was a good nade. I fucking knew it. I knew that nade, that nade felt so good. That nade felt so good. Oh, fuck, dude. That's upsetting. That's really upsetting because if I'd gotten one, I wouldn't I wouldn't have felt so bad because uh, I would the other guy would have still been covering the body, but we dropped both of them with that fucking Kobe nade. Oh, god damn it, dude. I, I it, it felt so good. That nade felt right leaving my hands. All right, so our first raid there went off pretty smoothly, dropped a nice big dude with an SVD, and we decided to just play it safe and get out with that loot just to get ourselves going on a safe extract for the day. But now we're going to go back in on customs with the same kit from before, looking for more scav kills to get our quest moving along. Okay. We're going to do the hop over. Sniper scav. Uh, where do I want to go? God damn it. Why did it jump me backwards? What? Is that him? Can't tell. I think it is. No, it's not. Mm, we might be able to fight that. Get some stand back first. Oh yeah, I got killed by Warren on Factory. I'm amazed you remember that, dude. Good memory. 
Nathan two story. This is so dumb. Don't do this, guys. Just want to see if he had a good gun. Kind of at a loss for where I want to go right now. What was that? Hit him once. I don't want to fight through this courtyard. Not with this kit. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can swoop behind him. There's no reason to push across a long, uh, a long engagement like that when I can try to get up fast on him, behind him. That's what we're going to do. Question is if he's gonna pull back this direction too. I don't think this one has barbed wire, right? Shot him over here. Feel like you'll push through L or something. The shots are coming through L. There's no real reason for me to move right now. Tag this guy once here. Someone else killed him. Kinda hesitant going this direction. I'm pretty sure there's a player over here. Hmm, now that makes me think there isn't a player over here, but the fact that that- so the weird thing is that that player didn't have a dog tag. That's the spooky part. I'm getting sniped dead. I'm gonna get pushed over here, I think. I need to take this. I've seen people sit in the bush back here. I don't really want to go towards the water right now because that sniper's out there. Huh. I'm kind of confused at where that player I shot at went. Let's double check everything while we can. I want to kind of take control over this entry. I'm gonna think how we do this. I don't want to go that way anymore. We're gonna come out L. It should be kind of clear. Thought there was a player back here. He's been sitting in the crate the whole time. Jeez, Louise. 
I didn't expect him to be sitting in the crate the entire freaking time we were here. But that's what this man did. So. Interesting play. I, to I, I totally knew I'd run into someone back here. I just didn't expect him to be in the crate the entire time. Holy meds. I do want to move because that suppressed sniper is going to try to come up behind me. To the front. I really shouldn't be checking my mag as I'm coming down this alley. There's two guys here. There's this guy. And there's that guy. I think there's one more on the right as well. Alright, hit this guy first. Oh shit! Interesting. He's wearing armor. Ow. <sighs> Alright, this is fucking weird, dude. This is a wacky raid. I think there's one more kicked out further to the right. Might as well just kick this off right now. 99% sure there's still someone on the right. Let's take a look-see. No? We made a ton of noise. What do you have? Get shot in the face doing this. You can feel it. You don't have any meds. I'm not checking you. Anymore. We gotta worry about that suppressed dude. I so feel like there's one more over here. Maybe not. Alright, now were you guys wearing armor? Because you guys did not go down fast. This guy, this guy was. Need your mag. Alright, uh, oh, fuck. Okay, we're gonna have to do a... We're gonna have to do a, uh, swap here. Oh yeah, the <laughs> Fuck! I saw him too! I saw him on the right. I saw him on the right. I knew it. I knew it. I saw him on the right. Good play. Good play. Okay, so a pretty gnarly fight there. We ended up killing quite a few players. Not enough scabs. So we do have to go back in with another AKS. But a good fun raid. So let's see how this one turns out. Alright, uh, same spawn. We're gonna do the same jump over. Now, normally there's scabs that spawn here on the left, but they don't spawn early. I mean, we can check this, um, but usually the scabs don't spawn here. I usually don't check here if I'm looking for scabs because it takes a couple minutes from the spawn in. And also, if you come here off the gate, what can happen is you can get trapped back here with the uh, in the pocket here, just because all the players will, will get you cut off. So I usually just try to push over the jump over door when I spawn in this spot. What is that? Oh, it's a rear sight, sure. Alright, um... So I check that, I check uh, the crate, and then I come back here. First raid, this is like the third raid, I think. And then right here on the ground, you can usually find cool stuff. From the med box. Which is completely empty. Alright, now I do want to get out of this pocket. Gotta be careful, because we did take that extra time to loot the back there, so I'm, like, trying to be extra vigilant. I think these are pretty expensive, found in raid now. Alright, we're looking okay. Just go hop over. I'm checking for scabs as I jump over, that's what that peak is for. We're gonna go down the center.
Once again, we're just looking to farm scavs, so we'll clean up any of the scavs that are here in the center. I don't really want to go to dorms. I try to avoid dorms as a solo player. I don't have a quest there. Usually there's a scav here on the right somewhere. It might be too early for that scav spawn though. Looks like it. And as you saw before, one of my favorite places to get scav kills is going to be in construction. Some fighting going on, which is good. So no one should really be here already, but there is a small chance someone's rushing for a quest, so we do want to be careful. Alright, Mosin on the other side. Almost got suppressed full auto. So there's two spots we can pop over to kind of see what's going on. One is going to be on top of the construction area. The other is going to be this. So, hmm. I don't really want to take the time to loot this gap right now when there's this stuff popping off this close. I don't know if he's dead. I'm not gonna chance it. Yeah, he's dead now. This is... our Mosin boy. I think he has a friend. Maybe not. That's 100% a headshot on my screen. This is kind of dangerous because we did make so much fucking noise. I would highly normally recommend against doing this, but we're greedy. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. I feel like there's going to be another player in this direction just from timing and stuff. this off. Something on the left here. Nice. None of them fired, so... Feel like we're gonna be okay to loot this. Trash. I think there's. I still. Something about my spidey senses is still going off. And then someone said they saw a body in here, which I doubt, but we can always check. There's only one body here. Pretty sure we needed this guy. We did. So he was still alive. I didn't want to face check the bush because he could have been still alive. So we decided to take the safe route and just nade him out. He was either going to come sprinting out of the bush, in which case we have him dead to rights, or he was just going to eat the nade. Some stash management stuff. Take the safe way across. In my opinion, this is the safest route out. Then we'll check big red spawns for, uh... 
scavs. And then we'll check uh, the shed area. Or the storage area. And then we'll just push extract. Hey, what's up, Hybrid? How you doing, dude? What the fuck was that? It's a player. Interesting. Important to know sounds, guys. <laughs> Important to know sounds. Cuz... That was completely random. That was extremely random. I don't... I don't know what he was doing, just prone in and... I think he was camping the, uh... The bridge, but... It's pretty random. Uh, okay. Where are all my scabs, bro? We might just reset the raid. It's my favorite alcohol. I like beer. I like sake. Wine is actually okay. Wine is starting to grow on me. I used to not like wine, but... Beer and sake, 100%. Top two. Alright, well, there's nothing over here. I'm checking if people are coming our direction. We're just gonna extract. Yeah, whenever you're moving the extract, check the direction you're coming from first. Because that's the direction where you're gonna get killed from. Alright, uh, clean raid. Two player kills. Nothing too crazy. It's because you're getting old liking wine? Probably, dude. Alright, so I'm not sure what that last guy was doing, just sitting in the bush. That's why it's very important that you really pay attention to the sounds in Tarkov and learn what each unique sound cue might mean in the area that you're in. Because it can tell you a lot about your surroundings and it's very important to kind of get good situational awareness from sound. But now we still have some more scab kills, so you know the deal. Same AKS heading back in on customs to try to finish this quest. <sighs> Alright, we're just gonna push fast in here, because there shouldn't really be anyone here. We got the close spawn. Um, and we're just gonna check to see if there's the scabs that usually spawn in here. There shouldn't be any players here. Like, absolutely, under no circumstance should there be players here. And there might be scab boss, but... Looks like no scabs. Okay. I'm just gonna check the key. No key. Check this, and I don't want to spend too much time in here. So everyone's gonna start running in. Ooh, FCON. Whoops. Totally thought I was single fire, but that's alright. I really shouldn't be doing this standing in the open like this. This is like really, 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 really dumb. Sounds like stuff at gas, so we can go check that out. I also remember that I loaded that mag with BP or BS, so that was entirely not worth the spray. Thought we were shooting BT. Oh well, oh well. Just getting distracted, I guess. Do I think Tarkov wipe should come more often? No, I think progression should be slower. That's what I think. That's my hot take. Impact this mag real fast. So fast check on the right to make sure that door's closed, right? I mean, people can still hop over, but... Ah, okay, so it's happening on the other end. Meh, that's too far for us. We keep going. That's in the L pocket. I definitely want this fight. We have the nades for this fight too, which is good. I'm gonna slow down. We might have to take some long range shots here. Ah, 
Aha, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I don't really want to play that long angle. It's still near L. Okay, we're just gonna rush this. Ooh. We'll go for this one. This one's gonna be easier for us to take. There you go. Now it gets quiet, huh? Of course it does. I'm waiting for this guy to push over. Right, all right, this guy, I don't know what this guy's doing. Let me check this again. What? You just got so quiet. Was that? Okay, there's only one way we get to this guy. It's gonna be from down here. Sounds like he hasn't crossed over the road yet. Big brain plays. He's gonna be up here somewhere on this slope. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Or don't. Oh, that was loud. I feel like I'm chasing ghosts, dude. Okay, yeah, that, that was the dude. Now, where is the player? Oh, it looks like he pushed over. Fuck. A little bit behind this guy now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to catch him. Just kinda just roaming the map at this point, you know? We're gonna hang out on this map until I feel satisfied with enough, uh, scab kills, or player kills. Yo, oh, I don't- I- <laughs> Where? Where is everyone? This guy's probably in dorms by now. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? That's a player. That's a player. That's a player. That's a player. No, it's a scav. 
killed this guy because he chirped. Let's go end this man's career real fast. Check the uh, stash while we're here. That's gonna be a player. I need that though. Yeah, this map just got so quiet though. <laughs> Am I the only one left? Hop over. So, we're reaching that point in the raid where people can be pretty much anywhere. I think there is gonna be a player in this area, just because uh, those initial shots from L, I bet you he's still coming over in this direction. So, there most likely is gonna be a player we run into head on here. Scratch, that's two players. Use the bush as cover. Do the nade. There's a second nade. We'll go in after the flash. Push hard on the right. Should be right here. Where's the second? Laggy as fuck is where the second one is. Did anyone see that guy stutter step five feet to the right? Because I sure did. <clears throat> Damn, so we almost had a really clean fight there at the end. Unfortunately, the servers must have just stuttered there for a second, and the guy teleported a couple steps to the right. But you know the deal. Once again, same kind of kit, AKS, some armor, some helmet, and going back in. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll go dorms. I should have gone to Marquee. Oh, well. To show my hideout? Dude, I barely pay attention to the hideout, on this account at least. I really should do it more, but... So let's go ahead and nab up this stuff. Another AK on the other side of the map. Again, shouldn't be any players in here. Cool, we got our scav. Gotta be fast. Still very low chance that a player rushes us right now, but... Should run single fire so we don't race, waste the eagle neck. and leave, hit this bag before we go. Bling. <laughs> hmm. No sniper scav. And it's quiet here. A little concerning.
Let's go check it out. Gotta displace. There's two of them. I need to isolate them. I don't want to find them both at the same time. This other guy's gonna be metting up because we tagged him up a couple times here. This is a completely different angle, so unless they kept eyes on me, we should be okay here. Oh, 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 the gods have blessed us. Hey, Tony, thanks for the dono. I'll get to it in a sec. One, where's the second? How many fucking bullets? What kind of armor is this guy? Keep in mind, we're shooting fucking a gold neck. I think we got him right there with those two last two rounds. There's a lot of bodies here. So it was really important that we did not med immediately there. And that we uh, we caught him on the rotation because we heard him push. I have to pick what I heal very wisely here. Legs need to get fixed first. Should still be packing this mag while I'm doing this and multitasking. burning through this whole med here. We want as much health as possible. Fuck, put it away, put it away, put it away. I'm sorry, dude. That was kind of dirty. Did you bring me meds? You did, thank you. Appreciate that. You brought me a lot of meds and even a nade. You're so generous. Right, real quick, what do you got here? Take these. Okay, now I'm hoping I put this guy down. I don't know for sure, but... We're gonna body check that guy first. Yeah, we did. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, scav. Okay. Alright. Alright, what's going on here, huh? 
We got level nine with the no PSKS. Okay. What else we got? We got this dude. They're level 33 with an MP5. Oh, 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 the gods have blessed us. Uh, get rid of that. Grenade. Drop this. We gotta be real fast and smart with our looting here, so apologies if I don't reach yet. But I really do need to focus right now. Saleba. Drink this. Kick that out. Let's kick that out. Extra pain meds, which is good. Move this down here. Take the Salewa. Okay. Make sure I'm on full auto here. It's like three guys on the... Hello? No, okay. Take the rig? I thought this rig is zeroed. So the whole reason why I didn't take this rig to begin with was because I thought it was, uh... Messed up. Let me double check. Oh, it's 60 yeah, 60. Okay, good, 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 good. Good eyes, guys. Good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. I totally thought that said 0 out of 60 or like 6 out of 60, but yeah, no, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. 4, 5. Okay. okay, we got this guy. PSH. I don't know how this guy survived so hard or so long. This guy tanked a lot of bullets. He's not gonna have anything in his bag. It's Tuller in the raid. We're gonna check this guy. I think I can drop here. I don't really think so. Let's check this guy. Ooh, this guy was... This guy was... Oh, this guy was beefing, dude. I kind of want that, but I don't think I can grab it. Uh, what ammo are you rocking? I feel like this guy's rocking, like, something good. No, he's using PP, lol. Okay, uh, I want that gazelle. I don't know if I can grab it, though. I don't think it's worth... <laughs> I can't even sell it. I can't even sell these mags. I can't sell these P uh, MP5 mags, so there's no reason taking the MP5 mags. Uh, we're going to try to grab this. There's no reason taking the MP5 mags because we can't sell them because of the changes, so we're just going to do this. Grab this. All right, we're good. Yeah, normally, before this patch, you would take the MP5 mags because they were worth, but those aren't found in raid, so... Where's that scab that was here? He go down. There's a scab over here. Hmm. He might be down on the slope. Of course we don't have boat extract. Why would we? That'd be too easy. <laughs> Was that him? <laughs> I want that scab kill, that's why I'm here. Fine. Just push for extract. I'm not gonna go across this bridge. The gazelle isn't worth crap. I need the gazelle for my quest. That's why I'm taking the gazelle. I need the zeroed out gazelle for my quest. That's why we take the gazelle. I'm not trying to sell the gazelle. I want it for my quest. <laughs> um, good play. I think that's uh, suppressed SKS. Good play. Just camp at the bridge.
Oh, such a tragic raid. We had such a good fight there. Third party, that group came in and swept them clean. But then that last player with the SNB SVD trying to get his headshots for his sniper quest, I'm assuming, just camping on the bridge. So you guys know what I say. Sometimes people are just in the right place at the right time. And that's just the luck of Tarkov. Don't get too upset about it because you know you do it to someone else at some point in the game. But moving on, we're going to switch it up a little bit here. This time going into interchange with MDR to try to see if we can shake things up. The fact that a hardcore game like this can be like number one on Twitch is absolutely amazing. It's gonna be pretty dark inside. Watching the left and right spawns here. It's inside already, I wanna rush this. That is the scav, where's the player? This one in the front. So. How this guy's still alive, I will never know. Great, getting third party. Two there. There's two on the left. I think they killed the guy on the right. Ooh, nice leg shot, dude. Oh. That guy's dead. I didn't finish the reload animation in time. That was a fun fight. I think there's one, two, three, four parties. Four parties there, including ourselves. That was a fight. That was good. <laughs> I had fun with that one. I didn't expect the, the, the last party on the right there kind of tripped us up. All right, so that was a pretty spicy interchange raid there. Uh, getting into a third party fight once again in the basement. Uh, but now that we got that out of our system, let's try to finish this freaking scav kill quest on customs. Look at that, another good spawn for Mark. We also get to check for a uh, flash drive here, which is cool. Fortunately, it's not here. No scab trip. No 
a sniper scav. Where are all the scavs? Garbage. Sometimes there's a scab on this street. It's in dorms. A scab rip. Gotta get the couple of scabs that spawn here and then double back. Just the one. Hmm. Scab over here. So if there's a scab over here, there's probably no player over here. Fuck. Fuck that up. Good lord! <laughs> Apparently BT can't go through some sheet metal. <sighs> There's another scab over there. <coughs> Could've hurt, dude. One more scab back there, just making sure no one's following. Probably gonna run into a player after all that noise, honestly, though. Raining? This is crackling in my ears. It's right here. You get snipe from across like this. This is how I die. It is raining. Alright, I think we need one more scav kill. So sniper scav should technically still be up if these guys didn't get fucked with. But he's not, which is like hella concerning. Sometimes there's scabs out here. Not today. We need one more scab, right? Yeah. <sighs> My armor is worth 20k, but I try to go for at least 10k. Oh, sniper scabs up. I don't know if we can reach him from here. <sighs> but we can try. <sighs> I can't even see my fucking reticle. I couldn't even see my reticle. Do we thirst? I mean, we might as well. We don't have to come back here. I'm not gonna need this AKS again, so we might as well just thirst and look for a fight. 
Yeah, because I don't want- I don't really want this AKS. Just, like, there's no real reason I'm ever gonna use this thing again. So we can go look for a fight. If we die, we die. Try to kill someone. Let's just go get into some trouble. There's someone in the building. You guys hear those footsteps? Because I sure did. Whoa! Is he shooting me through the wall? That's a hacker. Oh no, that's behind me. Oh god. Oh god. I was so oh, fucking confused oh, oh, there. I thought he was shooting at me through the fucking wall. But he was the other side behind me. Holy shit. I don't know, dude, the Ace Val is so quiet, oh, I couldn't tell oh, what direction oh, it's coming from. Oh, have blessed us. Oh, I just face palmed so hard there, I thought I was getting shot through the goddamn wall. Uh, he... <laughs> Alright, and we're finally done with that part of the Punisher quest. Now, we gotta challenge ourselves by taking out a shoddy, loading it with AP-20, and getting on to the next part of the quest, where we have to kill scavs with a shotgun on woods. If you're getting domed by scavs, you're sitting in the open way too long. We're gonna go counterclockwise away from... Uh, actually, we should have probably gone to check, um... For the flash drive. Feel that? Holy... Well... We gotta remember that that's in here. Maybe we can get a backpack off someone we drop. We're gonna counter rotate spawns. Might be able to catch someone not paying attention. Where is everyone? Where? Where is everyone? Bro, this is the quietest spawn on this side I've ever had in my life. Excuse me, did they nerf these rounds? Hit him in the head, you know? Oh, he's wearing armor. Yeah, he pretty much zeroed his armor. Nice. Oh, what's that? That's a player. He's hugging the rock. Why is he hugging the rock? Oh, he's looking at me. I need a close distance. And we'll kind of like... Stalk him, I guess. Gods have blessed us. I hit both these guys once. No, I pulled the trigger like at the same time. Ah! Uh, I pulled the trigger the same exact time. 
All right, so we had proper threat prioritization there. We shot the guy that was looking at us first. You know, that's the first guy you want to deal with. And then we dropped that last guy in the back with one shot. That last round that we tried to get out, though, I don't think it came out fast enough. I know we got the audio cube. I think the server tick rate or T-Sync. We just didn't manage to get that shot out. And our sights were right on him, so unfortunate. Now, we're going to go back in onto Woods, this time rushing into Lumberyard to try to get all the scav spawns that spawn at the start of the raid. All right, let's go kill some scavs. Yo, why is all this shit empty, huh? Where are my scabby boys at? Kind of loud, but uh, sorry. Oh, I need that Yishonk. Ooh. Holy God. Ooh, so it was nice. Hello. Oh! <laughs> oh, he got that shot. Nice, dude. He scared the fuck out of me. Uh, I, he, I, he probably scared me as much as I scared the first guy. Oh my god. So that second guy just completely scared me. He popped out of the bush, and I swear we must have scared him as much as I scared that first guy. But we're gonna roll into woods one last time with AB20. This time we're kitting up with a little bit more, coming in with level 4 armor, some ears, and some more ammo. So hopefully this last raid is gonna be pretty spicy as well. Oh god. What a champ, dude. What a freaking champ. I respect that play. You have my respect, sir. That was That was a freaking play. I had to juke him with the prone right there. I had to give him that little, little that little prone juke. <laughs> he, he probably could have had me, dude, honestly. It's a good shot. How are the raids going? They're going good. We're not surviving a lot today. But we are, we are killing a lot. Oh shit. Oh shit, put this away. What the fuck is going on down here?
That's nice. This is what I like to see. He's got armor. Oh, this guy rushed this stuff. This is what I like to see. Brained him, dude. You stop running? Holy God, this guy. Speedy Gonzalez over here just freaking. Charging over here. Is that at me? I don't know if that's at me. There's a player over here with a Mosin. That's what's going on. He just killed this guy while I was chasing. If I to wager. Dude, it's Mosin galore right now. God damn it. Sniper. American sniper. God damn it. You're running away from me. Baby, come back. How? Oh. Good lord. I hit him like four times. Oh god! There's another one by a checkpoint. I don't know if that's a player actually. Oh, that's a scab. Uh, this is the kind of raid I, I needed. Another one over here. Hello. Where'd he go? I'm literally just gooning through these woods right now. Ooh. Dude, I love this thing so much. AP20 rounds. I like, I, whenever I use AP20 rounds, I just, they're just such a joy. Just such an absolute joy to use. Just puts a smile on my face, dude, honestly. Karma cut and AP20 rounds. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. I'm making noise the entire time. <laughs> Only ran into one player. Hit him. Definitely got all of our scav kills, that's for sure. Wow. 
This barrel so long. I have trouble getting it through the uh, around around doors or uh, around uh, trees and stuff. Usually, there's a key there. Alas, this raid there is not. We can go check the flash drive. Come on. Some dope glasses. Sure. Ooh, what's that? I mean, sure. All right, now we can extract. I'm satisfied with that. Today was a good day for Tarkov. Oh, someone's been here. We might not have killed a lot of people, but we had some hella good fights. Looks like that's gonna be a wrap. All right, and finishing the day off with a pretty nice shotgun woods raid. We dropped 11 scavs on that last one there, so definitely getting that part of the quest done. But that's all I've got for you guys today. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, guys. And just a reminder that if you're looking for the full VODs of all the live streams every single second, please don't forget to check out that blue join button down below as $5 members and up get access to that exclusive content and other goodies. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.